Hello guys, I'm here to bring you guys another EVE Online video, and today we have on the subject uh, Missiles 101 and an explanation of how missiles work and things that you can do to better your missiles. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is how they actually work. Um, there are two kind of stages to uh, missiles firing, and the first stage is whether or not you hit the target, and that is dictated by range. Uh, uh, which is calculated by missile speed and missile velocity. Uh, and it does a quick estimation here by saying it's 55 kilometers when you show info on your info. This is a random example of a fit that I have handy. I'm just going to work with this to show you guys what we need to have or information that we need from the for the video. Uh, but in this example, we have 55 kilometers. Uh, and if we hover over this little show charge info and hit shift click it will bring up our our missile information uh, and this 55 kilometers is taken by multiplying the 6200 or 6020 meters a second by 9.4 or 9.1 that's how it calculates this so if i open up a calculator i should get roughly the same number by multiplying these together so flight time being 9.1 seconds, 9.1 times, uh, what was it, 6 times 6020 equals 54782. Of course, it rounds up, so we get an average uh, missile range of 55. That's how it calculates this. And that is how you know your missile range. Now, whether or not your missile hits uh, can vary by a few things, and there's a few variances in how the server works and uh, how uh, things work in the world with missiles. So first off is the point of launch, or where your ship is when you launch the missile, is the missile's starting point, and where the enemy ship is when, they, when your missile contacts their ship is the missile's ending point, and the missile needs to have the range to make from the starter point of your ship to the end point of your to the end point where the enemy ship is. So if you're flying like this and you are say 50 kilometers away from them, you're going five kilometers a second or whatnot, and you're right at the edge of that missile range of 10 seconds, and you this is them running away from you, and this is that you chasing them, you fire here, right? So this is now your point, and they're here, now you're outside of the 55 kilometer range. You will not hit your target. The other situation that can happen is it can be them chasing you and you're running away and now the point at where your ship launches the missile is now closer to the point at where it makes contact so you would have an extended range so it is possible to both simultaneously be able to hit something out of your range and within your range at the same time so that's the first function of missiles that people have like a really hard time understanding is whether or not the missile hits and why is it in range and it doesn't hit well that's probably why the second point that always happens with missiles is in reality uh, the server works in one second ticks so a missile cannot fly for 9.1 seconds so this missile saying 9.1 will either fly for 9 seconds or 10 seconds and how it's going to figure it out is every 10th missile is going to uh, because it, 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 it does one in however whatever the fraction is to be uh, if it's five it's one in two if it's 70.75 it's 3 out of 4. If it's 0 0.99, it's 99 out of 100. Uh, that's, that's how it calculates how far or how long it'll fly. It, 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 it just takes turns and does one out of every missile ends up flying for the extra second. So uh, occasionally we'll get the 10 second missile which flies 60 kilometers. And occasionally we'll, or in most times we'll get the 9 second missile which flies. 9 times 6, which is 5,454 kilometers. So 9 times out of 10, we'll, we'll end up with a 54-kilometer missile. That's the other thing. So that determines whether or not your missile hits. And then after your missile does hit, which in most cases, if it's in range, it will. Uh, after your missile does hit, what happens is it does a damage calculation based on the target's velocity and signature radius. And the target's uh, velocity is compared against the explosion velocity. So if I have a target here that is moving slower than 119 meters a second, I will be able to do full damage. If I have a target that has a signature radius smaller than 106 meters, I will be able to do full damage. Or sorry, larger than 106 meters, I will be able to do full damage. 
So this needs to be less than your target, and this needs to be more than your target in order for you to do full damage. Which sounds really complicated, but basically the closer you get this to being equal, the, the more damage you do. And if they are both not better than your enemy's statistic, then you will not do full damage. And so it is uh, impossible to have full damage application versus certain things that are moving a certain velocity or have a small enough signature radius. And that's why it's very hard to get perfect application on missiles. There are situations where it can be achieved, but it can be very difficult. Uh, and so to do full damage, you need both of these criteria met. And that is 99% impossible. And then there's some, some complicated math that happens in order to calculate exactly how much damage you do. Uh, and basically what you need to know is uh, if they are moving too fast, you slow them down because your explosion velocity is too low. Or if they are too big or too small, you put target painters on them so that you can do full damage with the explosion radius. Because if the radius is bigger than the ship, you don't get the full application. And if it outruns the explosion, you don't get the full application. That's basically the gist of it. So that's what you need to know in this statistics page. And uh, webs and grapples will help with application in the uh, explosion velocity and then the explosion radius target painters help with uh, quite a bit, uh, as does any as does them using like a micro drive or something to increase their their radius or their uh, their signature radius, uh, which is in should have, uh, where is it at? I have a signature radius of 512 meters, and I move at 118 meters, so I would be able to do full application to myself because I'm both slower and bigger than the explosion velocity, explosion velocity and uh, radius of the target. Uh, so the next thing that you would want to know is uh, what kind of missiles are there. Uh, there are two variants for every ship class uh, or every ship size. So frigates and destroyers will use uh, small missiles. The cruisers and battle cruisers will use the medium missiles. Battleships will use the large and uh, capital ships will use the XL. Uh, for medium or for for um, for long range, uh, the light ships, the small ships use light missiles. The medium ships use heavy. Large ships use cruise, and capitals use XL cruise. For the short range, uh, we have rockets for smalls, heavy assault missiles for medium, torpedoes for large, and XL torpedoes for extra large. And there are rapid variants of uh, torpedoes. Light missiles, heavy missiles, and uh, torpedoes, which is weird because capitals have hot weapons, so it's it's just weird. Uh, that being said, uh, every single missile has a prefix on it. Uh, one of the cool parts about missiles is they can do whatever damage type you want, and depending on the ship bonuses and uh, stuff, sometimes you have a bonus to kinetic, sometimes you have a bonus to thermal, sometimes you have a general damage bonus, so when it's, when it's a damage to all missiles or damage to a specific type, it kind of says in the in the trait for the bonus. Uh, you'll get a bonus to the prefix or suffix that is explained. Uh, but the prefixes are Milner, Inferno, Nova, and Scourge. Uh, Milner does EM damage. Infernal, Inferno does thermal damage. Nova does explosive damage. And Scourge does kinetic. And we can see the prefixes uh, labeled here. We have Inferno, Milner, Nova, and Scourge are the different prefixes. And then the suffix being the weapon type uh, for Tech 2 in uh, in the long range variants for, for cruise heavy and light, we have Fury and Precision. Uh, they do what they sound like. Fury has more damage and Precision has better damage application. And then as always, the Navy variant has uh, better damage and application than the base Tech 1 and Tech 1 is just the base stats. Uh, and then for the short range variants of missiles, we have Rage and Javelin. Rage missiles are the high damage, low application, and Javelin are the longer range ammo. Uh, and then Navy's kind of in the middle, in the spectrum of that for the short range ammo. Uh, that's really all that we have for the prefixes, and that sounds kind of complicated. But if you know what all those words mean, uh, Rage, Javelin, uh, Precision, and, and Rage, uh, you can look at a, a missile and tell exactly what it is and where it came from and what kind of ship it comes in. So, for example, we use regular Tech 1, so we don't have the uh, the Rage, Fury, Precision, or, or Javelin prefix. 
uh, but we do have the uh, Nova, meaning we're doing explosive damage, uh, and they're rapid heavy missiles, uh, or, or heavy missiles out of a rapid heavy launcher. So that would be the medium-sized uh, long-range missiles is what these are. The next bit that I want to get into uh, is is the modules, and obviously for the the high slots for the different size ships, we have the different modules. This is more of a video on how missiles work and uh, what modules we have, and what to do to employ, uh, improve them. So the high slots are the guns, and then Marauders and the Phoenix can uh, equip Bastion and Siege modules in the high slots, and then in the medium slots, uh, we get guidance computers. That's it. All that we really get is a guidance computer. And a missile guidance computer is pretty simple. We show info. Uh, they give a 8.25 and 5.5% bonuses to various stats. Uh, explosion velocity and explosion radius is increased. And then flight time bonus is 5.5% increase. I wanted to say that it had a flight velocity or a missile velocity change. Yeah, missile 5.5%. So I think it ends up being like 12% or something like that when you multiply those together. But it, it basically helps every stat, and then you can script them for precision. And what precision does is it moves all of the um, all of the bonuses to explosion radius and explosion velocity and takes them off of flight time. And then missile range does the inverse of that, where it increases your, your flight time and your missile velocity. So depending on if you need range or application, you can use the different scripts. And of course, you only need one script because it's a script uh, for each module that you have on your ship, and you can freely switch between them as necessary, uh, which is kind of nifty. I generally use missile precision when I use a, a missile guidance computer, uh, but uh, there are the occasional times when range is really helpful. Uh, and unfortunately, that is we only get the one mid slot for increasing our damage application for missiles, uh, but that makes sense. I mean, guns only get tracking computers, right? Uh, so in the low slots, we have a bit of a choice. Uh, we have guidance enhancers, which are basically unscripted missile guidance computers, and they only come in Tech 2 variants. Uh, I do not believe the ship has one, but a guidance enhancer is basically the same thing as a missile guidance computer, except it goes in the low slots and takes a little bit less CPU. So we go modules, and we go turrets and launchers, weapon upgrades. We can find missile guidance enhancers. Uh, these guys come in uh, various different uh, modules. They don't have as big of bonuses, um, but they do affect all three stats, or all four stats, the range, velocity, radius, and flight time. Uh, the other thing that we have uh, is uh, kind of in a hybrid of a missile guidance enhancer and a ballistics control, and these are probably my favorite modules in the game uh, because they do so much. But in ballistics control system, we have a special module called a polybolus, MLEK polybolus ballistics control system. And the cool part about these is they increase DPS by increasing our rate of fire, and they increase the explosion velocity and the damage. So they make you fire faster, do more damage, and have a better application. So they're like the best of both worlds. And they're really cool, and they do really well on the Phoenix with torpedoes, or torpedo ships in general really benefit from these. Uh, the next kind of module that we have is a standard ballistics control, uh, which I have a faction standard ballistics control, and these just straight up increase your missile damage and rate of fire. Uh, they're pretty simple. Uh, they work like gyro stabilizers, make magnetic field stabilizers for guns. They increase your damage and rate of fire. And then the third kind of module we have is a C3A and C3X uh, Hiva, which are the uh, the Grissa specific uh, ballistics controls. And what's special about them is they increase your drone damage and your rate of fire and your missile damage. So they also increase drones. So they're really good on Grissa ships like the Rattlesnake, the Gila, and the Worm, uh, should you be flying a Worm with fancy expensive modules because these get expensive. The C3Xs are like they're 156. I, I guess they're cheap right now, but at, at a point they're like 300 million isca pop. Uh, so that's that's what we have in the low slots to increase missiles. And then we have some rigs. Uh, the rigs are really easy to wrap your head around. Uh, there, There's a rig for every statistic on a missile that I went over. Uh, the, the rigs for damage increase DPS by 10, to 10 or 15% for Tech 1 and Tech 2. Uh, the bay loading accelerator uh, does what it sounds like. It increases rate of fire, but it does not decrease the reload time. 
which is really important on things such as rapid launchers, which have a 30 second reload. Uh, and then the warhead calification catalyst increases outright damage. Uh, and again, 10, 15% on that. Uh, the range increasing rigs are going to be the hydraulic bay thrusters, uh, increased missile speed, rocket fuel cache partition increases the missile flight time. And those are 15 and 20% uh, for tech one and tech two respectively. And then we have uh, war, uh, application rigs. Uh, the warhead flare catalyst increases your explosion velocity. Um, and then the warhead rigor catalyst increases the explosion radius. So rigor is explosion radius. I don't know how to remember that. And flare is uh, explosion velocity. Uh, so if you're looking to increase your application, those are the two ways. I told you earlier in the video which stats are important and when. And again, 15, 20%, just like the range. Uh, I did take a list of all the skills this time, which I, I, I winged it in the gun video, but in this video, I actually took a list of all the skills. Uh, skills that outright increase your damage are missile launcher operation and rapid launch increased rate of fire. The first one by 2% per level and the second one by 3% per level. Warhead upgrades gives you a straight damage increase of 2% per level, equaling 10% at 5. And then the specific missile skill and spec will increase your damage and rate of fire. The specific missile skill, for example, heavy missiles, will increase your uh, damage by 5% for heavy missiles only. And then heavy missile specialization will increase the rate of fire for the Tech 2 missiles by 2% per level, meaning 10% increase in damage. Uh, for application, we have guided missile precision increases your explosion radius or decreases your explosion radius. Target navigation prediction increases your explosion velocity. And then for increasing range, you have missile bombardment increasing your flight time and missile projection increasing your flight speed. Uh, it's pretty simple. Missiles are relatively simple, except for the way they're implied is somewhat counterintuitive. They do seem easier to use on paper right away because they always hit their target. But behind the, the the scenes, they never do critical. They never do critical hits, and it is sometimes impossible or very difficult to get full application. And uh, one other thing that is a very important factor that I feel like should be mentioned here is that because of missile flight time, they don't do as well in larger fleets. Uh, you get a lot of wasted damage with missiles that are left in the air after the target has died because they just kind of flutter off and die. Uh, and then. Uh, one large mistake made in the past in a large fleet battle. I'm not going to call out the people who did this, but I remember very vividly watching a stream and with my jaw on the floor, like, how does command not understand this? But they were using cruise missiles on a keep star and firing the missiles and warping off. If you warp off and your missiles are in the air, they fizzle out. They do not hit their target. So your missiles, you have to be on grid during the entire flight time of the missile. Otherwise, it does not hit its target. That is just the way they work and how they function. Uh, so that being said, that's a little rundown on missile mechanics. Uh, there are a lot of missiles in the game, and this video would be twice as long if I went into every single missile and what application they're used for. But I feel like this will give you the gist to be able to fit your Hawk, your Gila, your Raven, your Golem, your Rattlesnake, uh, and get the most out of them. Make sure you guys fly fun, continue bringing each other up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.